Hello students, welcome to Eloquent English Classes and this is your Jyoti Ma'am. Dear students, today we are going to learn two very important literary devices in English language. And they are alliteration and assonance. Let's understand the difference between these two literary devices. And we all know that these are mostly used in poetry. So let's get started. As we all know that there are 26 letters in English. Five are vowels. A, E, I, O, U. These are called vowels. And rest of the letters are called consonants. So there are five vowels and 21 consonants. Now let's learn what is alliteration. Alliteration is the repetition of sound of consonants at the beginning of a word. What is alliteration? It is the repetition of sound of consonants at the beginning of a word. Consonants repeat hote hain shuru mein kisi bhi word ke shuru mein consonants ko repeat kiya jata hai alliteration mein for example simple sheep now here s has been repeated which is a consonant safe and sound now here also s has been repeated fingers fluttering now here also f has been repeated which is also a consonant black booties again b has been repeated hail and hearty now again h has been repeated which is a consonant so we find that in alliteration there is a repetition of consonant sound or sound of a consonant fine now let's learn what is Assonance. Assonance is a repetition of identical or similar vowel sounds, especially in stretched syllables and a sequence of nearby words. So here we find it is a repetition of similar vowel sounds and that in stressed syllables. Stressed syllables means that vowel must be stressed and that too for a longer time. Let's understand with the help of examples. Thou still unravished bright of quietness. These are the opening lines of Keats poem Ode on a Grecian Urn. Now let's see which vowel has been repeated here. Thou still unravished bright of quietness. Now we find that I has been repeated here. So this is and repeated and stressed for a longer time. Still ravished bright quiet. So these are all in stretched syllables. So that is why this is assonance. Now green beans again here. Vowel E has been repeated. Sharper and carter. Uh, sharper and carter. E has been repeated. Faster and master. Again E has been repeated. Now we find that in assonance. Vowel sound is repeated, especially in stressed syllables. Whereas in alliteration, consonant sound is repeated. Okay, so the basic difference is that in alliteration there is a repetition of consonant sound, whereas in assonance there is a repetition of vowel sound. So that's all for today and I hope you have understood. 
please don't forget to like share comment and subscribe to my channel thank you very much